you mentioned that from a standpoint of uh, we think that well, I'm a superstar, right? I'm a superstar. And maybe I've gotten some superstar results, but I'm not getting superstar results right now. And I don't know why, because I'm a superstar. Because you work with not only individuals, but you work with organizations also, right? You work with people who have sales teams or you work with leadership um, or just success overall. Um, and let's talk a little bit about from a, like a sales team overall, because, you know, coming in, working one on one, you know, I'm sure that's probably somewhat similar when you're going in and working with teams. But what is your approach when you're going into to do maybe a, a, a talk or a seminar with a group with either leadership or for sales within an organization? I love the idea of working. I, I love working with teams. I love working with leadership. I love working with companies. And what I love most is ensuring the unity, that there's unity. Just like in an individual, if I'm, you know, think I'm a superstar over here, but underneath I'm questioning, could I ever really be a superstar? And will I ever be a superstar? And am I worthy of being a superstar? Or whatever could be going on, the limiting beliefs. It's about putting everything in alignment and making sure that everything is in harmony. And so with leadership, with companies, with organizations, it is about the individual because we're as strong as our weakest link. It is about the individual and it is about the unity of the team. And I liken every organization, company, business, team of leaders to even when we think about sports, NFL Super Bowl champions. Some of the most elevated Super Bowl champs we have seen lately have to do with the unity and how the players come together for the common good and the common goal of why they're on the field. And so when we think about leadership, when we think about businesses, when we think about companies, it's about that unity. And there are many times where I can see very clearly where leadership, you know, we bring coaches in to help leadership. And it's almost as if what we really need to do is bring the coaches in to help the company and corporate get really clear because it really does all start from the top and goes down to the levels underneath. But that's what I love the most is really getting clear of what's happening within each individual, but then how are we going to come together to work in our strengths? Everybody's got a strength. How are we going to work together in our strengths for the common good? And how are we going to keep that energy and that frequency and that vitality and that intensity or that aliveness together that will be very expansive Many times teams come together and they get very constrictive. So this is about expansion and again, thinking beyond current results and then ways in which to put together those formulas all individually, but then coming together as a team cohesively. It's great. I, it's, I mean, it's, it's, you know, I've, we've all been part of teams, right? We've all, we've all different personalities. We know that there's people that uh, are willing to, to give and give and give. And then there's other people that, that, uh, kind of want to protect their little circle, right? They want to, their little area. And if we could, if we could just, we all could learn that if we all could give a little bit, expand individually, we could, that the whole team could expand and there'd be more for everybody else. You know, during the expansion process or the elevate process, because you're all about elevation, whether it be with an individual or with the groups of individuals within a team, during the process, I find that people, you know, there's, there's some, as they're going through the process, there's feelings of disease, not disease, but you know the, the uneasiness that they have, right? And they 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 their new feelings. Um, they don't, you know, as they're as they're trying to grow and elevate, um, they're, they're going to come across things that they haven't felt before. They got to do before. So let's talk about some of the process of, you know, as I'm starting to elevate in whatever areas. Uh, what does that look like for somebody? And what are those feelings and how do we overcome them? And are they normal? Oh my goodness. What a great question. 
are they normal? Not only are they normal, it is like um, two peas in a pod. When we're going to elevate, like we're going to go for it, right? It's the new year. This is why resolutions don't work, right? <laughs> because it's not so much that resolutions don't work. It's the fact that we don't work with resolutions to be able to hit the end game, right? The idea that we're going to go for it this year, you have no idea how many um, seminars or how many big events I've been at with sales teams. And it's like, we're going to go for it. We've got the vision. We've caught the vision. We believe it's possible. We're going to go. And here's the key is <laughs> that to the degree in which you think you're going to go, in which we think we're going to go, we will come up upon resistance. We speak about that subconscious, right? The resistance, like, no, 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 you're not. No, you're not. We're going to stay safe. The number one job of the subconscious Number one job is to keep us safe. So we're going to just go hit it big. We're going to just go from where we are and we're just going to hit it out of the park this year. And what happens is every time we say we're going to go for something to the degree and we say we're going to go to the degree in which we say we going to the top, we will come across opportunities that we will need to rise above and go beyond. So in those sales conferences, like we're all jazzed up on Saturday, like we're going for it. This is the best year ever. And here's the truth. People get on the plane on Sunday and by the time they get home on Monday, it's Monday. Is this normal? It's not only normal, it's part of the process. Monday comes and generally, what happens for people on Monday is something comes out of the blue that comes to look like, you know, going to be an obstacle in their way. So on these sales organizations, and then they go back on Monday and real live events and everybody's really hyped up and hopped up on Monday. Many times people many times won't feel well or they'll oversleep or their children will be sick or their cat will get sick. Or somebody, you know, their cat will need to go to the vet. Something happens. Or, you know, we know how this works. We're going to go work out. We're just going to go work out. I'm going to go run five miles today. And then it snows. <laughs> you know, something happens. And is it normal? It is part of the process. The, there was a time, Cliff, in which I saw it was one of the greatest opportunities to witness this in real time. Oprah Winfrey will remember who she is. We all know who Oprah is. There was a time in which she had a show and she had a guest on and her guest was from Belgium and she introduced her guest and she was so pumped about this day and she came out. She really was just like lit up like a Christmas tree. She came out and she introduced her guest from Belgium and they came to her bearing gifts and she received the gift and she said, well, what is this? And they said, we came from Belgium and we brought you the best Belgium chocolates available, like known to man. <laughs> and no kidding. She looked right into the camera and you could have seen it. It was just like, and she loved this about Oprah was very, very um, open about this in the moment. She said, okay, everybody, I have to be very transparent here. Would you believe it was this morning I decided that I was not going to eat sweets or have sugar? And then here, here you go, Oprah, the best box of Belgian chocolates that you could ever imagine in your hands right here, real time. So Oprah had an opportunity. She had an opportunity to decide, would she stay true to what she decided or would she eat the box of chocolates? I don't know what Oprah decided, but each one of us has that that happens along our journey. Whenever we say we're going to go for it, something comes up. So for Oprah, it was just a box of chocolates that showed up. For other people, there are significant events that will show up to want to take us off track to keep us safe. 
because believe it or not, we know how to live the results we've lived. That's actually safe in the world of the subconscious. It's not where we desire to be, but it's about how then do we work with that subconscious to create safety in the elevation. And that's significant, Cliff, that's significant. So to your question, you know, is it normal that we'll bump up against these things? Is it normal that we'll hit the resistance? Is it normal that we'll need to overcome obstacles and go beyond barriers? It's not only normal, it's part of the process. So I believe that when we're aware of this and just have this awareness that along the journey, we're going to have opportunities to build muscles. That's the way it is. And as long as we know, oh, okay, it's part of the process. It won't feel so much like a blind side. It won't feel like we're, you know, hijacked because if we don't know this information, that's when we get hijacked and that's when we get taken off course. And then when we get taken off course, then pretty soon we're back where we were. And there are a lot of reasons why we didn't achieve our goal or reach the stars or hit the mark. But this is part of the process. Every time, every time without exception.